Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm setting up here for our video for today. So bear with me. Um, I may, I don't know, I may play some music in the background. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Um, let me keep the camera. There you go. So you can see everything that's happening. Great. Um, okay, so we're going to do a flower, an iris, a couple of iris, a few irises. And it's going to look something like this. Okay. My name is Antonio. And today we're going to do watercolor. And for watercolor, we'll need, okay, make sure you get your materials. You need your watercolors, your kit. You need at least a brush or two. You need two small containers of water. I already put my water here and the watercolor paper. Uh, very important, obviously, are the paints, but the watercolor paper is very important too because we'll, once you do a painting, you need more watercolor paper. So you should always have a uh, source of watercolor paper, you know, a pad or something, okay? That's very important. Um, let's get started, okay? So let me show you here. You see, we're going to start with making this green streaks of thick and coming thin lines that are the stem or the leaves of the flower. And to practice that, I have said this before, um, we're going to make this movement like this. You see, I made some practice here with different tonalities of the same green. And then I make these moves to paint my flower on the top. So it goes, it goes from thick to thin by lifting our brush as we move it along. So we press down, we move it and we lift it. And as you lift it, it becomes thinner. Let's practice that. Let's make some as you can see, it's very good to have another piece of paper. As another piece of paper next to you. So you can practice. Okay. So I'm going to put my other piece of paper here for two reasons. To show the color when I mix them here. Otherwise, I see the table, you see. And to have a space here to play around and mix colors. OK. I'm going to activate some color that's already here. I already have this color here. Why not use it? Put it down thick and move it as I lift my brush up. Let's do it again over. You see, it goes from thick to thin. So once you practice, and you make a few of this, you 
see I'm lifting my brush as I go along. Um, once you fill up a sheet of something, this is something you should practice a lot. Um, the same green, look, I'm going to make it lighter. See? Same green, but lighter. So you could create different tonalities with the same green by adding more water or taking more water, which adds, which leaves more pigment. All right, so I'm ready to make my lines with my green here. I'm just wetting my colors to activate them. And the first line is going to go up and kind of stop around here to leave room for the flower okay so thick up you gotta do this a couple of times because the paper is absorbing all that water which is okay now i'm going to start lifting and turning a little I went up very high. It's okay. Do a couple of leaves on the side, same technique. Maybe one here. One here. And one here. See, I went pretty high, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put my flower, you see, right down here, like as if this is the center, the flower is like right there, even though it went up that high. So we put one stray line that turn and you, as you turn you lift your brush so it became thinner and then you do it maybe three leaves every other side to balance it out um okay if we finish this flower and we have time we'll do more you see we'll do two more or one more just like here there's two more so it total of three flowers. So I'm going to put down my green brush, my brush that's carrying green. And I happen to have a second brush that I'm going to use to wet the paper. But before we wet the paper, because we're gonna wet it in a certain shape. Okay. We're gonna make five petals in triangles. So if these are triangles, right? You see that triangle? I'm gonna make them wavy, kind of wavy and long long like this that makes it a longer triangle 
so wavy like this. You see, it's wavy now. So five of those, one, two, three, four, and five. Maybe more round, you know, as it comes here. More round. But practice that. Practice making those wavy triangles, five petals around. That way, when we draw them here, you have done it before. So practice here. I'm going to make them a little more round. Okay, one goes here, two, keeping an eye on this space to make them that size, one, two, three, So maybe remember more wavy, sorry, more round up here. So this is the third, fourth, and fifth. So with a clean brush and clean water, you wet this area. in which the petal is there. Don't be afraid to put enough water. Your paper is made to sustain that water and absorb it. You know? Okay. So now this is wet, and I can tell it's wet because the paper will shine, and it's right now absorbing that water. So time is on, you know, and it's, the paper also starts to bend a little, but you see how it shines? Only where it's wet. And it bends a little. So now I'm going to, with that same brush, I'm going to pick up my purple color. I'm going to put some drops. Keeping the pigment to the on the edges, you know. But I'm gonna feel the whole thing. It's just See, it's a lot of water, it's okay. But I kept it mostly at the edges. And let the center a little bit of white, you see from the paper and the center. Okay. If you have a lot of water, you could maybe push some of that water more to the edge, to the dry parts of the paper like here. So you could like, start getting absorbed. You don't have to follow the line exactly of the pencil, you know. So this is good. I'm going to 
go back to it as I draw. Um, I'm going to get back to it with more purple on the edge. Still on the edge. Okay. Still keeping it on the edge. Let's see. And it becomes darker because I just grab more pigment, you see? You know what I mean? So I'm going back again just at the edge. And if you notice, I've done this flower a couple of times now, so it's perfectly fine for you to do something a few times. You know? That's how you get good at doing something. And and, and and then you choose which one you're gonna show, you know? Um, you do the same thing a few times. This is very common. It's not fair to judge ourselves on the first try of doing something, you know? Okay. So if you notice, I could maybe build a little more the darkness as it comes around into the petal, more round. You know, this could have been more round. And maybe I'll come back again. I'm going to wait a little and come back even again and put even more darkness at the edge. In the meantime, let's do another one. Another two stems. So one for a flower here. See that? Wait a leaf here. A leaf here. And another one here. We'll leave here, 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 and here. So one flower, one flower. I'm gonna draw it. One, two, three, four, 
five. One, smaller, even smaller. Two, three, four, five. Okay, use another brush to wet that area because I happen to have another brush. We had a little bit of red, I can tell. It's okay. Now the situation is when you wet the paper, be aware that um, that area is wet. So the paper starts to absorb, which means you have a time limit before the area is no longer any uh, wet, you know? So you're working uh, with wet paper that you want it to be wet but if you wait too long if you go for a coffee or you leave it it's going to dry because the paper will have absorbed all that water okay You know what I mean? Okay, let's put that purple down. Working also in between some of the greens because the leaves were on the way and I want them to leave it leave them on the way. Colors could run from one side to the other, just be careful. So that's why I'm clearing all this. My yellow got into my brown, uh, purple and it becomes a dirty brown. So yep, just be careful. I'm doing my second round. Remember to emphasize the darkness of the edge. I mean, dark, darkness meaning the richness of the purple is more richer at the edge right here because I'm picking more purple and putting it literally there. But you see, this this one has already dried up. You can tell by the way the purple doesn't want to blend in. The purple I'm putting in here went very uh, pure because it was already uh, dry. 
So I have to go back now in a moment with a little bit of more water. And now over here on the top, I can go back and add that last edge of um, purple. Over here. Okay, let me go back with a little bit of water for this one here. There you go, to soften that. Okay, still have to put some purple lines over here. running out of purple, but I have more color in my tubes that I'm going to add. Okay, so you're going back and forward in your outline to make it darker than the rest of the petal, you understand, by putting more pigment. But the petal is still wet, you know, that's the key to make them look like this. This one I want to emphasize that it's round, Come on, like right there. Okay. Now I have to wait for it to dry to put yellow strikes right in the middle, okay? But with the green, let's see if we could do something because these are very thick stems. So maybe I could add some blue to my green. Look at that. And darken one side of my stem or leaf, like just this side. Choose one side and darken that side, like, there you go. But stick to one side. You see? Makes it more interesting. So I chose the left. Just throw a, sh a shadow or shade on the left side.
see so this will be a short video less than an hour but um, you can pause it okay so you can go back please and maybe in when we did the flowers you want to really look at how it was done this shape you see the fact that I don't really care much getting out of the pencil that we drew um, so you may want to see that in detail here my leaves are giving me a little trouble because remember this area is wet so it's hard to define the green will try to blend in with the purple maybe I should do another leaf here smaller one So that works. Okay, so I'm going to make those yellow strikes and we're done. But for the whole hour, please go back. I'm going to sign it, um, make those yellow strikes. <clears throat> and, and yeah, this will be different to the one I've done previously because especially the green stem and leaves. I'm going to clean my brushes right now. Um, those thing, uh, stems of the flower and leaves, I purposely on the other one made them different tonalities of green by adding more water to it or adding more pigment to it, okay? So that makes, I'll show you in a moment, I, that made them some lighter and some um, darker, darker green or normal green. You see, you see how these leaves here is very light and they went from darker green to lighter, kind of softer. So this is the approach I took here. I know it looks blue in the camera, but it's purple, the, the flowers themselves. They were a little more loose, transparent and a little more loose in this version. So it's a different approach, that's all. It almost has a, a, a look into um, what Chinese do with the uh, wash, you know, ink, ink wash. Um, we could practice that by reframe, reframe just for, to one color or ink or black uh, and then painting with that because then you can create grays and lighter tones again with depending the amount of water. So this is lighter because it has more water, less color, less pigment. Let's do those yellow strikes. It's not entirely 100% dry in the middle. But we're going to do with what we have. See that? For every petal, one line. These are the pistillas where the seeds are. Very rich yellow. I have to make it very rich. And the reason why I have to make it very rich is because it's on top of this lighter purple. And yellow is very light, so I have to make it very rich to kind of sit on top of this purple. I added a few more strikes besides the amount of petals to make it more interesting. Let's see.
Okay. And those are our flowers. I may sign with this same yellow. Down here. Man. This twenty two. There's a written um, orthographic accentuation written right, on my first E. So yeah, this is it. Look closer. You can see the yellow. Is, you see, it looks blue, but trust me, it is purple. <laughs> These flowers are purple. Very strange. Um, but this is the video. Please go back. Um, especially the part where we drew this over here, the flower, those five petals that were wavy like this. I'm going to put both next to each other so you can compare them. Clean your brushes, close this, right? And then make sure you clean your brushes well. And the next time you use them, uh, when you wet them, to use them, test them on this piece of paper first. I did not do this this time, but always test your brush because it could be carrying some color you don't want on your painting. Okay, so cleaning your brushes is very important for to take care of them and have them last um, longer. You got, you see, there's still some yellow here. I can see. And with water color, you just need water. Um, the other container, remember here with clean water. Eventually, this gets dirty as you keep painting. But we some, or oh, many times into the painting, we need clear, clean water to wet the paper. And that's what this water is for, okay? So one to clean your brushes, one to paint, sorry, to wet the paper. But over here, maybe you want to go back and practice. Look. Oops. Making these petals. One, two, three, four, and five. Or practice this move. Remember the... I'm running out of green, but this move where the thickness becomes thin. By lifting the brush as you move it up. So always have this piece of paper, crucial. Okay. So this is the video for today. I'm going to put, again, both versions together so you can see the different approaches. And do it more than once. Watch the video again. Do it again. Um, here's the other version. of the same flowers, same color, purple. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Again, make sure you clean your materials <laughs> so they last you a long, long time. <clears throat> your brush can last you today, right? Today could be the last day of your brush if you don't clean it and leave it, let it to dry and destroy it. Or it literally can last you your lifetime. 
if you take care of it. Thank you. Have a great day. I'll see you all soon.